Compound interest is the addition of interest to the principal sum of a loan or deposit, or in other words, interest on interest. It is the result of reinvesting interest, rather than paying it out, so that interest in the next period is then earned on the principal sum plus previously accumulated interest. Compound interest is standard in finance and economics. Compound interest may be contrasted with simple interest, where interest is not added to the principal, so there is no compounding. The simple annual interest rate is the interest amount per period, multiplied by the number of periods per year. The simple annual interest rate is also known as the nominal interest rate not to be confused with the interest rate not adjusted for inflation, which goes by the same name. Compound interest. Equals P 1 plus R N carrot N T equals Topic Compounding frequency equals the compounding frequency is the number of times per year or other unit of time the accumulated interest is paid out, or capitalized credited to the account, on a regular basis. The frequency could be yearly, half-yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, or continuously or not at all, until maturity. For example, monthly capitalization with annual rate of interest means that the compounding frequency is 12, with time periods measured in months. The effect of compounding depends on the nominal interest rate which is applied and the frequency interest is compounded. A compound interest calculator is a tool that allows calculating such compounding effect on loans or investments. Topic. Annual equivalent rate The nominal rate cannot be directly compared between loans with different compounding frequencies. Both the nominal interest rate and the compounding frequency are required in order to compare interest-bearing financial instruments. To help consumers compare retail financial products more fairly and easily, many countries require financial institutions to disclose the annual compound interest rate on deposits or advances on a comparable basis. The interest rate on an annual equivalent basis may be referred to variously in different markets as annual percentage rate APR, annual equivalent rate AIR, effective interest rate, effective annual rate, annual percentage yield and other terms. The effective annual rate is the total accumulated interest that would be payable up to the end of one year, divided by the principal sum. There are usually two aspects to the rules defining these rates. The rate is the annualized compound interest rate, and there may be charges other than interest. The effect of fees or taxes which the customer is charged, and which are directly related to the product, may be included. Exactly which fees and taxes are included or excluded varies by country, may or may not be comparable between different jurisdictions, because the use of such terms may be inconsistent, and vary according to local practice. <laughs> <laughs> examples for compound interest 1000 Brazilian real BRL is deposited into a Brazilian savings account paying 20% per annum compounded annually at the end of 1 year 1000 by 20% topic <laughs> 200 Brazilian reals interest is credited to the account the account then earns 1,200 by 20%. 240 Brazilian reals in the second year. 
a rate of 1% per month is equivalent to a simple annual interest rate, nominal rate of 12%, but allowing for the effect of compounding, the annual equivalent compound rate is 12.68% per annum 1 -1. The interest on corporate bonds and government bonds is usually payable twice yearly. The amount of interest paid each six months is the disclosed interest rate divided by two and multiplied by the principal. The yearly compounded rate is higher than the disclosed rate. Canadian mortgage loans are generally compounded semi-annually with monthly or more frequent payments. U.S. mortgages use an amortizing loan, not compound interest. With these loans, an amortization schedule is used to determine how to apply payments toward principal and interest. Interest generated on these loans is not added to the principal, but rather is paid off monthly as the payments are applied. It is sometimes mathematically simpler, e.g. in the valuation of derivatives, to use continuous compounding, which is the limit as the compounding period approaches zero. Continuous compounding in pricing these instruments is a natural consequence of Ito calculus, where financial derivatives are valued at ever increasing frequency, until the limit is approached and the derivative is valued in continuous time. <laughs> <laughs> Discount instruments U.S. and Canadian T-bills short-term government debt have a different convention. Their interest is calculated on a discount basis as 100 minus P, P B and M, where P is the price paid. Instead of normalizing it to a year, the interest is prorated by the number of days T, 365, T times 100, see day count convention. Topic. Mathematics of interest rate on loans Topic. Periodic compounding The total accumulated value, including the principal sum P plus compounded interest I display style i is given by the formula p equals p 1 plus r n n t display style p equals p left 1 plus frac r n right caret n t where P is the original principal sum P is the new principal sum R is the nominal annual interest rate N is the compounding frequency T is the overall length of time the interest is applied expressed using the same time units as R, usually years. The total compound interest generated is the final value minus the initial principal I equals P one plus R N N T minus P Display style I equals P left one plus FRAC R N right carrot N T P Topic. Example 1 Suppose a principal amount of $1,500 is deposited in a bank paying an annual interest rate of 4.3%, compounded quarterly. Then the balance after six years is found by using the formula above, with P. Topic. 1500, R 
0.043-4.3% N Topic 4 NT 6 P equals 1 500 times 1 plus 0 0.043 4 4 times 6 approximately equals 1 938.84 display style p equals 1 500 times left 1 plus frac 0 0.0434 right caret 4 times 6 approximately 1 938.84 so the new principle p display style p after 6 years as approximately $1938.84 subtracting the original principle from this amount gives the amount of interest received 1 938.84 Five hundred equals four hundred thirty eight point eight four. Display style one nine hundred thirty eight point eight four to one five hundred equals four hundred thirty eight eighty four. Topic Example two. Suppose the same amount of $1,500 is compounded biennially every two years. Then the balance after six years is found by using the formula above, with P. Topic 1500 R. 0 0.043 3 percent N. Topic one half the interest is compounded every two years, and T six P equals one five hundred times one plus zero point zero four three times two Six two approximately equals one nine hundred twenty one point two four display style p equals one five hundred times left one plus zero point zero four three times two right carrot frac six two approximately one nine hundred twenty one point two four so, the balance after six years is approximately $1,921.24. The amount of interest received can be calculated by subtracting the principal from this amount. 1 921.24 minus 1 500 equals 421.24 display style 1 921.24 to 1 500 equals 421.24 the interest is less compared with the previous case as a result of the lower compounding frequency topic <laughs> accumulation function Since the principal p is simply a coefficient, it is often dropped for simplicity, and the resulting accumulation function is used instead. The accumulation function shows what $1 grows to after any length of time. Accumulation functions for simple and compound interest are a t equals 
one plus T R Display style A T equals one plus T R A T equals one plus R N N T Display style A T equals left one plus F R A C R N right carrot N T Topic: Continuous compounding. As n, the number of compounding periods per year, increases without limit, the case is known as continuous compounding, in which case the effective annual rate approaches an upper limit of r minus one, where e is a mathematical constant that is the base of the natural logarithm. Continuous compounding can be thought of as making the compounding period infinitesimally small, achieved by taking the limit as n goes to infinity. See definitions of the exponential function for the mathematical proof of this limit. The amount after t periods of continuous compounding can be expressed in terms of the initial amount p0 as p t equals P zero E R T Display style P T equals P underscore zero E carrot R T Topic Force of Interest As the number of compounding periods N Display style n reaches infinity in continuous compounding. The continuous compound interest is referred to as the force of interest. Delta. Display style delta. In mathematics, the accumulation functions are often expressed in terms of e, the base of the natural logarithm. This facilitates the use of calculus to manipulate interest formulae. For any continuously differentiable accumulation function a t, the force of interest, or more generally the logarithmic or continuously compounded return, is a function of time defined as follows: delta t equals a t a t equals d D T lane A T display style delta underscore T equals frac A T A T equals frac D D T lane A T. This is the logarithmic derivative of the accumulation function. Conversely, A T equals e 0 t delta s d s display style a t equals e caret in underscore 0 caret t delta underscore s d s since a 0 equals one display style a zero equals one. This can be viewed as a particular case of a product integral. When the above formula is written in differential equation format, then the force of interest is simply the coefficient of amount of change. D a t equals delta t a T D T Display style da T equals delta underscore T A T D T 
for compound interest with a constant annual interest rate R, the force of interest is a constant, and the accumulation function of compounding interest in terms of force of interest is a simple power of East delta equals lane 1 plus r display style delta equals lane 1 plus r or a t equals e t delta display style a t equals e caret t delta the force of interest is less than the annual effective interest rate, but more than the annual effective discount rate. It is the reciprocal of the e-folding time. See also notation of interest rates. A way of modeling the force of inflation is with Studley's formula. Delta T equals P plus S. One plus R S E S T display style delta underscore T equals P plus S over one plus R C carrot street, where P, R, and S are estimated. Topic. Compounding basis To convert an interest rate from one compounding basis to another compounding basis, use R 2 equals 1 plus R 1 N 1 N 1 N two minus one N two Display style R underscore two equals left left one plus FRAC R underscore one N underscore one right carrot FRAC N underscore one N underscore two minus one right N underscore two where R1 is the interest rate with compounding frequency N1, and R2 is the interest rate with compounding frequency N2. When interest is continuously compounded, use delta equals N lane 1 plus R N Display style delta equals n lane left one plus frac r n right, where delta display style delta is the interest rate on a continuous compounding basis, and r is the stated interest rate with a compounding frequency n. Topic. Monthly amortized loan or mortgage payments The interest on loans and mortgages that are amortized — that is, have a smooth monthly payment until the loan has been paid off — is often compounded monthly. The formula for payments is found from the following argument. Exact formula for monthly payment An exact formula for the monthly payment C Displaystyle C is C equals P R one minus one one plus R N display style C equals frac P R one frac one one plus R caret N or equivalently C 
equals p r 1 minus east minus n lane 1 plus r Display style C equals FRAC PR one E carrot N lane one plus R where C Display style C equals monthly payment P Display style P equals principal R Display style R equals monthly interest rate n display style n equals number of payment periods this can be derived by considering how much is left to be repaid after each month the principal remaining after the first month is p 1 equals 1 plus r P minus C display style P underscore one equals one plus R P C, i.e. the initial amount has increased less the payment. If the whole loan is repaid after one month, then P one equals zero. Display style p underscore one equals zero. So p equals c one plus r. Display style p equals frac c one plus r. After the second month, p two equals one plus R P one minus C Display style P underscore two equals one plus R P underscore one C is left, so P two equals one plus R one plus R P minus C minus C Display style P underscore two equals one plus R one plus R P C C If the whole loan was repaid after two months P two equals zero display style p underscore two equals zero so p equals c one plus r plus c one plus r two Display style p equals frac c one plus r plus frac c one plus r caret two. This equation generalizes for a term of n months. P equals c j equals one n one one plus r j display style p equals c sum underscore j equals 1 caret n frac 1 1 plus r caret j this is a geometric series which has the sum p equals c r 1 minus one one plus R N 
Display style P equals FRAC C R left one FRAC one one plus R carrot N right which can be rearranged to give C equals P R one minus one one plus R N equals P R one minus East minus N lane one plus R Display style C equals FRAC PR one FRAC one one plus R carrot N equals FRAC PR one E carrot N lane one plus R Topic Spreadsheet formula In spreadsheets, the PMT function is used. The syntax is PMT interest underscore rate, number underscore payments, present underscore value, future underscore value, type C Excel, Mac numbers, LibreOffice, Open Office for more details. For example, for interest rate of 6%, 0.06, 12, 25 years asterisk 12 p, a. PV of $150,000, FV of zero, type of zero gives Topic. PMT 0 0.06, 12, 25 asterisk 12, minus 150,000, 0, 0 966 dollars 45 Topic Approximate formula for monthly payment A formula that is accurate to within a few percent can be found by noting that for typical US note rates i8% display style i in terms t display style t equals 10 to 30 years the monthly note rate is small compared to 1 r1 display style r so that the lane 1 plus r approximately equals r display style lane 1 plus r approximately r which yields a simplification so that c approximately equals p r1 minus e minus n r equals p N N R one minus E minus N R display style C approximately F R A C P R one E carrot N R equals F R A C P N F R A C N R one E carrot N R which suggests defining auxiliary variables Y N R equals I T display style Y equiv N R equals it C zero P N display style c underscore zero equiv frac p n here c zero display style c underscore zero is the monthly payment required for a zero interest loan paid off in n display style n installments. In terms of these variables the approximation can be written C approximately equals C 0 Y 1 minus E minus Y Display style C approximately C underscore zero FRAC Y one E carrot Y The function F Y Y one minus E minus Y minus Y two 
Display style F Y a quiv FRAC Y one E carrot Y FRAC Y two is even F Y equals F minus Y display style F Y equals F Y implying that it can be expanded in even powers of Y display style Y it follows immediately that Y one minus e minus y display style frac y 1 e caret y can be expanded in even powers of y display style y plus the single term y 2 display style y 2 it will prove convenient then to define x equals 1 2 y equals 1 2 i t Display style x equals frac 1 2 y equals frac 1 2 it so that c approximately equals c 0 2 x 1 minus e minus 2 X display style c approximately c underscore zero frac two x one e caret two x, which can be expanded. C approximately equals c zero one plus x plus x. Two three minus one forty five x four plus Display style C approximately C underscore zero left one plus x plus FRAC x carrot two three FRAC one forty five x carrot four plus right where the ellipses indicate terms that are higher order in even powers of x display style x the expansion p approximately equals p 0 1 plus x plus x 2 Three display style p approximately p underscore zero left one plus x plus frac x caret two three right is valid to better than one percent provided x one display style x leq one topic. Example of mortgage payment For a $10,000 mortgage with a term of 30 years and a note rate of 4.5%, payable yearly, we find T equals 30 Display style T equals 30 I equals 0.045 Display style i equals 0.045, which gives x equals 1 2 i t equals 0.675. 
Display style x equals frac 1 2 it equals 0.675. So that p approximately equals p 0 1 plus x plus 1 3 x 2 equals dollar 333.33 1 plus 0.675 plus 0.675 2 3 equals dollar 608.96 Display style p approximately p underscore zero left one plus x plus frac one three x caret two right equals three hundred thirty three dollars and thirty three cents one plus point six seven five plus point six seven five caret two three equals six hundred eight dollars and ninety six cents. The exact payment amount as p equals dollar six hundred eight point zero two display style P equals six hundred eight dollars and two cents so the approximation is an overestimate of about a sixth of a percent topic history Compound interest was once regarded as the worst kind of usury and was severely condemned by Roman law and the common laws of many other countries. The Florentine merchant Francesco Balducci Pegolotti provided a table of compound interest in his book Pratica della Mercatura of about 1340. It gives the interest on 100 lire, for rates from 1% to 8%, for up to 20 years. The Summa de Arithmetica of Luca Pacioli 1494 gives the rule of 72, stating that to find the number of years for an investment at compound interest to double, one should divide the interest rate into 72. Richard Witt's book Arithmetical Questions, published in 1613, was a landmark in the history of compound interest. It was wholly devoted to the subject, previously called anatocism, whereas previous writers had usually treated compound interest briefly in just one chapter in a mathematical textbook. Witt's book gave tables based on 10% the then maximum rate of interest allowable on loans and on other rates for different purposes, such as the valuation of property leases. Witt was a London mathematical practitioner and his book is notable for its clarity of expression, depth of insight and accuracy of calculation. With 124 worked examples, Jacob Bernoulli discovered the constant e display style e in 1683 by studying a question about compound interest. Topic. See also Credit card interest Exponential growth Fisher equation Interest Interest rate Rate of return Rate of return on investment Real versus nominal value economics Yield curve E mathematical constant <laughs>